Welcome to all those that are watching from home and also, also all those that have joined us here this evening. Uh, Ms. Burke? One, consideration for presentation. A, Rural Secondary Program Recommendations by KYTC Scott Phelps. Okay, this is a presentation only, so we don't have a vote on it. Uh, Mr. Phelps? Good evening, Davis County Fiscal Court. Um, tonight we'll be presenting our funding for the 2025 fiscal year. Our total funds in Davis County are going to be $1,234,250. Uh, the flex funds, which is 20% of our initial allotment, is $418,198. Our state funds is $816,063. So our first recommendation for this year is going to be Kentucky 140 from beginning at the uh, 0, 0.0, which is the McLean County line, to the 6.212. That will take it across 431 all the way to Nally Road, which is where we paved this year. Okay. So that will complete that entire section of roadway. Okay. Uh, projected cost is going to be around $565,000. So that is, that is a rounded number. So, okay. Um, but uh, when going back and looking uh, from the zero to the 3.5, which should be uh, 431, was paid nine years ago. The section from 431 over to Nally Road was paid between 15 to 18 years ago. So it's gone beyond its useful life for the majority okay. of it. So we try to get about 12 years of life out of the pavement. Okay. The second recommendation is for Kentucky 662. We have been getting a lot of calls about this because we've got some areas where we do have base failures. Uh, so we're going to recommend paving from the beginning at Kentucky 405 over to Camp Campground Road. That'll give us a distance of 3.3 miles of resurfacing. Uh, we are currently working on that right now to try to get the base failures fixed, and we'll let that settle over the winter, and then in the spring, they can come in and resurface that. Okay, so, so both these will be in the spring then, or just yeah, the yeah, one? More than likely, they will be in the spring. Okay. Uh, but that pavement is 17 years old. Uh, it is cracking, and we've, we've got quite a few base failures in there that we are fixing right now. And I think there's a few pipes we may have to replace in that okay. time. Uh, we've also got a couple of pipes on 140 we're going to have to replace. So we're working on trying to get that done. And then as that settles out over the winter, they can come in and resurface okay. in the spring, and it should be ready to go. Uh, the cost on uh, 662 is going to be close to 251000 Okay. Thank you. Commissioners, you have any comments and questions? No, no. no. Any questions from the public? Okay. Thank you, sir. Two, consideration for approval. A, minutes of the July 11th, 2024, Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and a second. We've all had the minutes for a little bit to review. Uh, are there any corrections, solutions, or additions? Hearing, hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 B, all claims for all departments. Motion to approve. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. Uh, we've all had these a uh, little bit of time again to review. Do you have any questions for the treasurer? No. Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 C, treasurer's report for June of 2024 and final settlement. Motion to approve. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. Mr. Johnson. Yes, Judge, in accordance with KRS 68.030, the final report and settlement for any fiscal year must be approved by fiscal court. As of June 30th of 24, the total cash balance is $74,194,858 for all funds. General fund balance is $41,946,380. Minus operating reserve and restricted funds, cash for general fund operations is $32,000. $663,122. I have reviewed all of the account activity within the Treasurer's report that was adjusted throughout the month of June with our budget transfers. All variances are normal and explainable. All funds operated for fiscal year 23-24 within expected ranges outside of the few items of which I have already apprised the court. In the settlement document, I have compiled the statement of assets, liabilities, and fund balances 
as well as schedules presenting the changes in cash balances for the fiscal year. The final settlement for the year simply highlights that fiscal court is maintaining a strong financial position for fiscal year 24-25. The settlement details of all transactions made during the period are available in my office during regular business hours, and I have nothing else to report. Any questions for Mr. Johnson? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing that, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 D, contract with Green River District Health Department for employee assessments and vaccinations. Motion to approve. Second. You got a motion and second. Mr. Johnson. On April 11th of 24, fiscal court approved a contract with the health department that covers the cost of the hepatitis B vaccine, rabies pre and post exposure vaccination series, and TB risk assessments for employees of Davis County Fiscal Court, primarily the Solid Waste Department and Animal Shelter. That contract was for the period of April 4th of 24 to June 30th of 24, not to exceed $9,000, and it served as a formalization of the historical practice of the court covering these costs. The proposed agreement is for the period of July 1 of 24 to June 30th of 25, with the only changes from the prior agreement being minor service price increases. I would recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Johnson? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 E, rural secondary program as recommended by KYTC, excluding flex funds. Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and second, Mr. Duper. Yeah, yes, good evening, Judge. I would uh, recommend approval for the, the state's um, recommendation number one, Kentucky 140, and also recommendation number two, Kentucky 662 for excluding all the flex funds to be used for Davis County Roads. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Duper? No. no. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 F, Resolution 14, 2024, KYTC Rural Secondary 8020 Bridge Funds Program Agreement. Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and second, Mr. Duper. Uh, yes, Judge. This is um, the KYTC Rural Secondary 8020 Bridge Funds Agreement. This 8020 funding agreement relates to replacement of the Bear Road culvert over Rhodes Creek South. This is an annual program in which KYTC reimburses the county 8% of the overall cost, which will include design and construction of the new culvert. This culvert is completely deteriorated and, and is needing to be replaced. I recommend approval. Okay, thank you. Any questions for Mr. Duper? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And I just, real quick, our guests from the state, you don't have to stay if you don't want to. You're, thank you for coming, though. <laughs> Go ahead, Brooke. G, second reading of KLC A.106.01, 2024, 06 2024, budget amendment number one. Make a motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and second, Mr. Johnson. The county is required to amend the budget to reflect the receipt and expenditure of unanticipated revenues that were not part of the original budget document. Davis County Fiscal Court was unaware of two projects that were appropriated in Senate Bill 91 to Davis County when we were compiling the fiscal year 24-25 budget. This budget amendment addresses both. First reading was held on July 11th of 24. The state approved as to form and classification on July 17th of 24, and this will be the second reading and adoption. I would recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Johnson? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 H, Sheriff's Quietus for 2023 oil tax settlement. Motion to approve. Second. And a motion and second, Mr. Johnson. I have received the presented copy of the Sheriff's Quietus for the 2023 oil tax bill settlement. I have reviewed and reconciled the data and found it is in agreement with our records. No other taxing district has made me aware of any con inconsistencies with these figures and I have no issues to report. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Johnson? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Award bid number 2425-01, two new tandem dump trucks. Make a motion to approve. Second. 
A motion and second. Ms. Sturgeon. Yes, Judge. We received three bids and recommend award to the lowest and best evaluated bid submitted by Vomac Truck, and, Truck Sales and Service for two new tandem dump trucks for the Davis County Road Department in the total amount of $412,320. These units are budgeted replacements for one aging unit currently in our inventory and another unit that is no longer operable. Vomac Truck Sales and Services is a known vendor. There were no exceptions to the specifications and I recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Sturgeon? No. No. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 J, award bid number 2425-02, one new half-ton four-wheel drive crew cab pickup truck. Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and second. Ms. Sturgeon. We received five bids and recommend award to the best evaluated bid submitted by Sternberg Ford for one new half-ton four-wheel drive crew cab pickup truck for the Davis County Road Department in the amount of $54,771. This unit is a budget of replacement of an aging unit currently in the inventory. Please note that the lowest bid is not being recommended due to exceptions management has found unacceptable. Sternberg Ford is a known vendor. There were minor exceptions to the specification and I recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Sturgeon? No. no. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 K, award bid number 2425-03, one new half-ton four-wheel drive regular cab pickup truck. Make a motion to approve. Second. You got a motion and second, Ms. Sturgeon. We received four bids and recommend award to the lowest and best evaluated bid submitted by Sternberg Ford for one new half-ton four-wheel drive regular cab pickup truck for the Davis County Road Department in the amount of $45,223.12. This is a budget replacement of an aging unit currently in inventory. Sternberg is a known vendor. There were minor exceptions to the specification and I recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Sturgeon? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 L, award bid number 2425-04, one new four-wheel drive regular cab utility bed pickup truck. Motion oh. to approve. Second. You got a motion and second, Ms. Sturgeon. We received five bids and recommend awards the lowest and best evaluated bids submitted by Sternberg Ford for one new four-wheel drive regular cab utility bed pickup truck for the Davis County Road Department in the amount of $64,622.29. This is a budget of replacement of a unit that is no longer operable. Sternberg Ford is a known vendor. There were minor exceptions and I recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Sturgeon? No. no. Any questions from the public? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 M, award RFQ number 2425-20, one new tandem trailer. Motion to approve. Second. You got a motion and second, Ms. Sturgeon. Yes, Judge, we received three quotes and recommend award to the lowest and best evaluated quote submitted by McCoy Construction and Forestry for one new tandem trailer in the amount of $12,400. Currently, the road department does not have a trailer large enough to transport mid-size equipment. This budgeted addition would fill that need. McCoy Construction and Forestry is the known vendor. There were no exceptions to specification, and I recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Sturgeon? No. Any questions from the public? Hearing that, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 N, appoint Dirk Duper as Davis County Engineer to complete the unexpired term of Mark Brasher, effective August 1st of 2024 through January 13th of 2025. I'll make a motion to approve. A second. Okay. Um, Mr. Duper, I want to congratulate you for your appointment as our county, county engineer. I want to uh, Thank Mr. Brasher, sitting to your right, uh, for all his years of service to our community. And I um, hope, hope you can do as good a job, Mr. Duper, as Mr. Brasher's done. So uh, oh, That's a low bar. Uh, <laughs> you, you Sorry. I was, was going to say he had big shoes to fill. I don't know. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brasher, for your service. And thank you, Mr. Duper, for taking this on. You're welcome. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. O, hire Andrea Lee as staff accountant, effective July 29 of 2024. I'll make motion. a motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and second. Want to uh, welcome uh, Miss Andrea. Thank her for uh, agreeing to join us. 
and uh, hope hope she's uh, as happy to be with us as we'll be to have her. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 P, accept the retirement resignation of Ray Whistle, sen Senior Heavy Equipment Operator, effective July 31st of 2024. Motion to approve. Second. Second. I want to uh, congratulate Ray on his uh, retirement and wish him well and uh, thank him for all his years of service to our community. Uh, all those in favor, signify. Whoops, anyone else? Yes. All, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Three, consideration for discussion. A, other business to be brought before the Davis County Fiscal Court. There is none that I'm aware of. All right. B, public comments. This is a part of our meeting where we invite the public to come forward uh, to the podium, state your name and address for the record, and uh, speak to any item that is not on the agenda. Uh, have any takers? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Kathy Estes, 4104 Buckland Square. I have two things today. First, uh, as the county and city elected officials still try to figure out where we might be able to locate some cooling stations when the need arises, I'd just like to um, offer the public, anybody that needs to cool off, I'd be glad to transport you to a um, taxpayer-funded facility such as the courthouse or city hall. Um, I'd also like to announce that the Democratic Party headquarters opens, grand opening is August 1st from 4 to 6 at the JDQ building at 2625 Frederica Street. We'll have food, entertainment, and speakers, so bring your lawn chairs and join us. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? Okay, next item, Brooke. C, comments by Davis County Fiscal Court. Commissioner Caslin. I, I didn't catch, uh, Ms. Estes, if you said how people could reach you to, to get to the cooling stations. Uh, I said about on social media posts. On social media posts. Okay, so for those listening, it's on social media posts and on Facebook as well. So you can be, okay, thank you. Um, and uh, also, I just you know wanted to say thank you as well to Mark Brasher for your service and also to Ray Whistle. Uh, and for people who are part of the, uh, the, the county and, and doing what they do uh, day in and day out uh, and being dependable people that actually help keep the county moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Condor. Thank you, Judge. Um, if our earlier guest, that was Denitra Henderson, is that correct? It was. She is the second district engineer in Madisonville. Correct. You know, didn't want to necessarily ambush her while she was here, but. I've received several calls, especially in the last two weeks. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I thought it was a laughing going. <laughs> she was. She had a laughing uh, little <laughs> video meme going on down there. That was not on purpose. Um, about the, especially concerning the bypass and state maintained roads. And I know that the state has done uh, a couple more mowings, but if you go out just Highway 60 West or any place else or under the underpasses, it just looks really bad so hopefully uh they are aware and we'll attempt as best as we can to be able to take care of it because it just our first impressions mean a lot um second please in a tragic a accident recently jared brasher who was um, a member of the cvb he uh, began his work as sports director in early 2008 he uh, previously worked for team ip he was the founding member of Team Kentucky, an organization that promotes sports throughout Kentucky. It was a big reason that Owensboro, back in the day, uh, was named best city for sports by Sports Illustrated. He, along with uh, staff in 2008, even though that at that time it was a little economic challenge, uh, began a process to bring uh, more sporting events to Owensboro and Davis County. Uh, Karen Miller, part of the executive director at that time, hired Jared, and they worked diligently to bring uh, an exceptional ambassador for our community to the rest of our nation, actually, in our state. He went the extra mile and he gave from his heart. Uh, he passed away recently, very um, tragically. 
Uh, so may the perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. I hope him, I hope his family uh, is healed due to that tragic loss. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Commissioner Marksberry. Uh, yes, Judge. I did get a call today, actually, um, about the way the weeds are growing up on, I think it was on the uh, 165, which was the Natcher. Um, and they said they know it's a state road, but they thought it was embarrassing as you come into Onesboro that the grass was really tall. They said it was like, I don't know, three foot tall. Um, I, I know that we can't control that, that that is a state project, but you know, I've noticed on some of the county roads too that the private owners of the farms and things are not mowing the fields like they used to. Um, I just would hope that people would try to take better care of their property just to show more pride in their in their properties because it does reflect on our county. I believe I was in Versailles and Lexington area just over the weekend and you don't see any areas on the side of the road where they, they've not mowed and taken care of their property. So just a reminder if people could try, I know they're really busy, the farmers have a lot going on, but it's not just that, it's rural communities, it's you know areas that just need to be mowed. Um, and then I wanted to mention that uh, Bissell is sponsoring Empty the Shelter, so there's no spay, or I'm sorry, there's no adoption fees right now for the animals at our animal shelter. We are way, way above capacity right now. Um, I think typically we have 60 to 70 animals. I think last time I heard it was 107. Um, so if you could open your heart or home to even foster an animal, or if you're thinking of getting a pet for your family, I would just encourage you to please, you know, consider visiting the shelter. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, the only thing I have, I, I do want to echo um, Commissioner Connor. You were did a wonderful job uh, mentioning uh, the the uh, Mr. Brasher, and uh, he he was uh, a key player in in much good that was done uh, at the CVB, and. Uh, his contribution to our community is appreciated. Um, the only other thing I have is I want to continue my, my as, as I've done in the past, thanking those who have stepped forward and done the Cash for Trash program. Um, we only have one this time in our claims, and that was uh, Christ Gospel Church. They did six miles, right, uh, picked up 160 pounds of trash, and had 24 bags filled with trash. So uh, that is an ongoing program, and uh, anyone interested, I'd encourage you to call the courthouse and get in, get on the list. David, do, do does everybody show us, shows up get uh, get approved, or or do, is this is this like the uh, Christmas at Panther Creek where you got to be drawn? It, it's it's not like Christmas at Panther Creek. You do have to meet the requirements. You do have to be a a five hundred one c three. Okay. Uh, but no, otherwise we take all comers. There is a limit though to the number of groups a particular organization can have. So, you know, uh, a single entity can't have more than, than five uh, okay. different groups, subgroups underneath it uh, okay. that get it. So like we think of a school. So an elementary school could just have just five, you know, a music group or a, a sport group. Uh, but otherwise, yes, it is, it is open for everyone. We take applications generally at the end of November and through December for the next year. Okay, thank you. Anything else, Brooke, before I say we're done? Without further business, this meeting is adjourned.